30 year old southpaw from Samania in Ghana. From his 11 wins, 10 have come by knockout. He appears to carry a bit of power. Got a great energy about him. Proudly carrying that Ghanaian flag. Had a brief chat with him earlier on. Seems quite a quite a gentle soul, bit of an introverted character. But nothing introverted about this ring walk, actually. <laughs> His third fight outside of Ghana, Prince Oko Nati. And now let's welcome to the ring from England, the undefeated Ezra the Canyon Taylor! Well, here comes the man they call the Cannon. The first title fight in the professional career of Ezra the Cannon Taylor. He comes in his eighth fight. He will be in the form of a Commonwealth Silver Light Heavyweight Championship. He's calm, he's cool, he's relaxed. Flashy character, confident character. And he believes he is next in line in this light heavyweight division. Swag hasn't he Echo? Oh, he's got that swag. And when you come out to a ring walk music like that, you gotta back it up, and I know he will. See so Angel Fernandez there with him. Big fan of that ring walk. Ez gonna give it to you, not X. Forget about X. It's all about Ez gonna give it to you. Let's head over to Thomas Triber. It is sanctioned by the British Boxing Board of Control, steward in charge, Matt Harris, Commonwealth Supervisor, Debbie Down, timekeeper, Tony Dunkerley. Out of three judges assigned, all from England will be Christine Lee Every and Terry O'Connor. Our referee in charge will be Kevin Parker of England. Introducing to you first, fighting tonight out of the red corner, he comes to the ring wearing gray with black and weighed in officially at 12 stone, 7 pounds. Coming to us from Somania, Ghana, he brings a professional record consisting of 11 wins, 2 defeats, with 10 of his 11 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Prince of Should we have a quick breakfast? This first one. And Hello, and welcome to Birmingham. Across the ring, fighting tonight out of the blue corner. He comes to the ring wearing white with silver and weighed in at 12 stone, 6 pounds. Hailing from Nottingham, England, he is undefeated with 7 wins. 5 of his 7 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Ezra the King. Well, nice ovation there for Ezra the Cannon Taylor. Referee will now give his final instructions. The first title fight in the career of Ezra Taylor. Unbeaten so far in seven fights. This is fight number eight.
Well, it was a flashy ring walk from both men, really. Commonwealth Silver, light heavyweight championship on the line and a mandatory position for the full <laughs> Commonwealth light heavyweight championship. Ezra Taylor, Prince Oko Nati. It'll be interesting to see, Deb, how Ezra comes out as this is his first title match. You don't want to give away too much when you first come out. You want to establish your jab and get used to your opponent's flinches and reflexes. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> well, he's got used to him pretty quickly there as he's landed with the right hand. Needs to be careful. Prince Soko Nati has got 10 knockouts from his 11 wins, but no doubt Ezra Taylor got through and got his attention quite early on. Again, looking for that, that right hand to the body. Ezra's making good use of his footwork and using defensive responsibility with his right hand as Okonati comes forward. Well, he's a southpaw, Okonati, but Echo's boxed a few. Just looking a, a tad ragged in, in these exchanges as well. He's, he's keen to hold on. Again, a big swinging right hand from Ezra Taylor. Narrowly misses the target, another one there as well. Now that Ezra's established that power shot on him, those wide hooks, he needs to feint a bit more just to set those little traps. Well, he's certainly shown that he's, he's got the attention of Prince Okonati. Very much boxing on the front foot, looking for opportunities. Again, that right hand to the body. And there's a right hand to the head, followed up this time. Okonati still there, still powering back. But Ezra's really landing some good scoring shots. He just needs to close off that ring a bit better and just establish staying in the pocket with his distance and he'll land so much more. slowly stalking him here in the first round. He's had plenty of success. <laughs> 30 seconds to go here in the first round. We're at the Resorts World Arena in Birmingham. Ezra Taylor, Prince Oko Nazi. And he's gone. Might, might have just been a balance thing there, but Ezra Taylor Prince Okonati just holding on there. Just need to be careful there. Can he make it through the round? He doesn't look particularly hurt at the moment. He's just looked a little bit ragged and, and uncomfortable at times. I'm not sure anything has, has really buzzed him so far, Reco, but how, how are you seeing it? Um, I've seen that Ezra established a good right hand to start off with, and um, although he missed swing with the swing hook, Ezra has definitely landed that left hook at the end of his exchanges, which is what hurt Prince Nati. I think he needs to just keep that pressure on, but establish good feints moving forward, because now he's going to be really paying a lot of attention to his punches now. So the Angel Fernandez giving the instructions in the corner. Ray Ricketts there as well. But a very good opening round for Ezra Taylor. He established himself. Second down, round two. What second round? Here in this light heavyweight fight, Prince Okonati just a little bit slower to get to his feet than Ezra Taylor was. Ezra Taylor bounced up. And I did notice Okonati in the corner breathing quite heavy. We certainly had a lot of pressure put on him in that first round. And Ezra Taylor just, just opening up there, the right hand. He lands with a left. Okonati. The left and the right, and that Okonati is still. He's, he's, 
Okay, now he seems very wary. He keeps switching his stance, and that could be a sign that he's not comfortable in there. Well, he doesn't look particularly comfortable now. The legs seem to buckle there as Okonati just held on. But Ezra Taylor is having plenty of success here in the second round, landing almost at will. And right hand again, Okonati having to back up, having no choice but to back up. And clinging on, he'll do well to survive this round, I think, Echo. Yes, he definitely will do well to survive this round. I think Ezra needs to just add a little bit more distance so Okanati is not able to hold. However, I think the referee is giving him a little bit of a telling off for it. And plenty of time left in this round. Ezra Taylor seems to be landing what he wants, but... Just narrowly missed with the uppercut. Lands again with the right hand. A lot of pressure on Okonati. One, two, he's gone down there, and three, I'm not sure if that is a knockdown four, or not. I'm not sure five, if the referee is indeed six, counting. Okonati protests, eight. but that will be scored as a knockdown for Ezra Taylor here in the second round, just over a minute ago. And that's a left, and he's touched, I mean, his glove clearly touched the canvas there. It may not matter at all. The rope's holding him up. Okonati is all over the place here in the second round, and Ezra Taylor is just starting to open up. Okonati clings on, but he was in a world of trouble there. Oh, definitely, especially from those left hooks once again. Again, that right hand, and again, Okonati finds, him, finds himself backed up against the ropes, trying to cling on and just trying to weather the storm here. Ezra establishes his jab, he's right gonna, hand. if Ezra establishes that jab, he's going to land that clean right hand and make it even more effective. Again, just, just that, that movement with that, it's a very clean left hook there. Around 10 seconds to go. In the second round here, Ezra Taylor, Prince Okonati. It's all Ezra Taylor right now through two rounds. His legs just don't seem seem with him. It feels like he's trying to find his legs again. Maybe it's some of those knockdowns. That left hook certainly yeah. landed. Well, that's two rounds, and uh, we talked about how perhaps Prince Okonati wasn't going to make it through that round. He has made it through, but... Ezra Taylor did plenty of damage, Echo. Ezra Taylor definitely did plenty of damage. And in a title match like this, that damage accumulates. So you have to be wary about how much you actually take in the first few rounds. Ezra can now just keep establishing, maybe taking some shots to Okonati's body to zap little pockets of air away from him. That will tire him out a lot faster and lead to what seems to be on the way a knockout victory by Ezra. There is a feeling of inevitability about the way this fight's going to go. This is only Okonati's third fight outside of Ghana. The other two times he has boxed outside of Ghana, he has lost those fights. Second down, round three. And Ezra Taylor looks well on his way to picking up that Commonwealth Silver Light Heavyweight Championship just as he lands a, a very clean left to start. Does need to be careful though because Prince Okonati is still in there, still throwing, and we know he's got heavy hands, Echo. Yes, he's still very much a live opponent. I think from watching his previous fights, you, can't, you cannot take that away from him, especially if he's been hurt. Well, he holds on. Just pushes Ezra Taylor up against the ropes. Referee brings them apart. There's a bit of kidology going on with Okonati smiling at Ezra just then. Big wild swinging backhand as well there. Ezra just varying the work. Going to the body as, as well as the head. Ezra seems to have changed his pace a little bit as to not gas himself out in the first few rounds. As I said... As I said, you do have to bear in mind it's a title fight, so you cannot give it your all in the first few rounds. 
Well, it's a very good point because he's not gone 10 rounds before Ezra Taylor, and if he does get extended the 10 rounds, which wasn't looking particularly like, likely at early doors, it is kind of new ground. Definitely, it is new ground, and when it's new ground, you're not quite too sure if you can do it until you do it. But he's, la he's landed a number of shots there, just bending over now, Prince Okonati. Uncomfortable moments for the Ghanaian as Ezra Taylor now piles on the pressure. Ezra can't seem to miss with that left hook. Okonati is keeping his right hand quite low to his detriment. Well, he's complaining of a, of a low shot there. And the referee has told Ezra Taylor to go to the, the neutral corner. And Prince Okonati has gone to a knee here. He does, I mean, he appears to be in some discomfort. He's not happy with the shot. Was it low? Was it not low? I'm not sure. He's certainly got himself a bit of respite. And the referee... Has a quick word with Ezra Taylor. And he's just making sure that Okonati is okay to continue. And we do indeed continue. 25 seconds left here in the third round. A straight right hand landing from Ezra Taylor. Okonati still throwing back. Ezra still keeping that pressure on, which is perfect. You want your opponent to feel like they've had a bad round going towards the end of the round and stay in the referees' minds as well. Do you think he sent something from Okonati? I mean, that, uh, you know, the, the complaints of a low shot, we're not sure if it was low or not, but the referee has had a word with him. But seeing him go down, he went down in the last round as well. Oh, definitely. It, once your opponent starts to complain about shots that haven't actually gone low, you know you're getting to them. So he's you know you can up the of, pressure. He's taking a point of Okonati here for pushing down on Ezra Taylor's head. He's having a torrid time in there, the Ghanaian. Looking uncomfortable. And now a point docked. <laughs> Ten seconds to go here in the third round. having a look at Okonati as he goes back to his corner I mean he, he doesn't look particularly comfortable he certainly doesn't look as comfortable as Ezra Taylor in the other corner but it was an interesting point that you you did raise Echo in that if he isn't able to get his man out of there in the early rounds it could be uncharted territory because this is the first time Ezra Taylor has been scheduled to fight 10 rounds in his career. It's his first title fight. If he gets to round 9, round 10, I guess he's got to make sure he's got plenty in the tank. Oh uh, yeah, definitely. You have to try and, as I said before, try and make sure you don't put too much into the first few rounds as you have to keep it up. And um, some boxers like to take a little break in the mid-rounds and then a little resurgence when, once they get their second win. Second round, round 4. But it's something that you can do once you've got that experience and you know how your body works with it. Well, speaking of the body, Ezra Taylor has been uh, constantly going for that right hand to the body. A big left hook there, getting the attention of Prince Oko Nati, who again clings on. But mounting a bit of an attack himself here, Oko Nati. The referee encouraging them to, to carry on throwing. Someone was waiting for a break. Okonati had backed Ezra up and actually was a bit reluctant to throw, which shows that he's, he's paying him a lot of respect yeah. for his power. Oh, and he's gone down there. A big counter right hand from Ezra the Cannon Taylor. Okonati is showing that he's okay to the referee. He will be allowed to continue. But he doesn't look altogether with it. It feels like Ezra Taylor could be a few shots away from ending the fight here in the fourth round. Well, I had to take one there, Ezra Taylor. But he has opened up. Oh, them left hooks. Left hook after right hook. Just needs to be careful he doesn't put too much into this, though. 
Oh, that was a very good, very clean jab, getting the attention of Prince Okonati. Okonati looks visibly unsteady. Lands with a counter right there as well, Ezra Taylor. Ezra Taylor just needs to take his time, pick his shots, and let them land with him. Well, it's quite the barrage ar around 30 seconds ago on the ropes there. Both were swinging away, but putting plen plenty into that exchange as well. That might be reflected now into the change of pace. They've both slowed it down a little bit. Ezra just needs to keep that pressure on and not let Okunati get his breath back. Again, that right hand to the body. It's been landing all night for Ezra Taylor. Prince Oka oh, a big left hook. Okunati looking to hold on. He's found himself on the ropes again. Does land in there. That's a left, that's a right. And Ezra Taylor just opening up on Prince Okunati. I'm surprised, actually, he's that Okonati, yeah, he stood, stood up to that quite well. I can hear Ezra's tra trainer shouting at him to throw more uppercuts, as Nati seems to be. Big right hand in the corner there. The referee's having a look at this, and the referee has seen enough here in the fourth round, and Ezra Taylor has stopped Prince Okonati to win his first title as a professional. A thrilling fight. Okonati not happy at all. <laughs> I think they're ready to keep carrying on fighting. Prince Okonati is not happy with the stoppage. Angel Fernandez, uh, they might need to be brought apart here a little bit. The security is in the ring having a look at this as well. We've got a very, very unhappy Prince Okonati. And Ezra Taylor just Having a little word with him, it's not Ezra Taylor who called the fight off. I mean, he did what he could with the fist, and then it was the job of the referee. Okonati agreed, but Ezra Taylor has the first title of his career. What do we think, Echo? Uh, it was a, well, it was a wicked performance, and yes, Okonati is not happy about the result, but the referee is just doing his job. Ezra was visibly overpowering him, getting more shots, getting the winning shots, and um, I eye-popping shots as well so the referee had no choice but to stop the fight well even now you can see he's uh, arguing with the doctor is Prince Okonati his manager with him there as well I mean they are complaining but Ezra Taylor had him down in the fight had him hurt a few times in the fight as well there was a bit of a feeling of inevitability about it it was a torrid round for Prince Okonati. And the well, let's head over to the official result with RMC Thomas Triber. Good evening, boxing fans. The National Rail timetable today is subject to change. Please would you check the rail times for your journey tonight. Your train could be affected by these changes. Thank you. And enjoy the boxing. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. Two minutes, 45 seconds of round number four. Our referee in charge, Kevin Parker, stops the contest. Therefore, your winner, by way of technical knockout, still undefeated, and now the Commonwealth Silver Light Heavyweight Champion, Ezra the Cannon T. Ezra Taylor moves to 8 and 0 oh and is now the mandatory challenger for the Commonwealth Light Heavyweight Championship. That is a belt currently held by Joshua Bowatsi. I'm not sure what his plans are with that belt, but Ezra Taylor with this win becomes the silver champion and puts himself into a fantastic position in the light heavyweight division. It was interesting that before we heard from Thomas Triber, we actually heard from the PA at the venue as well. Mm -hmm. Lovely little surprise there, Echo. <laughs> yeah, uh, about the train times, yeah. yeah. No, it's good information, it's good, it's good to know. For, uh, not necessarily for the viewers of the Queensbury stream, but, but for people in the arena, they need to know when they're gonna get home. We're looking at Ezra Taylor now with that Commonwealth silver title on his shoulder. I made up for him. Your first title gives you so much confidence. What, what was your first title? My first title was the English title. I had to fight Andy Keats for it. 
and just like Ezra did, I, I got that stoppage win. Uh, you can see Prince Okonati here, he, he is distraught. He is uh, up against the ring corner, now making his way to the back. But uh, Ezra Taylor, first title of his career. He has been telling the world that he is next in line in the light heavyweight division. It is a quite brilliant light heavyweight division in this country. And Ezra Taylor, with that belt, with that win, adds himself into the mix. It could be a very, very bright 2024 for the Cano. Oh, made up for him. Yeah, definitely a bright 2024 for the Cannon. He needs to line up his opponents and let it blast it once again. You can see in the ring there, Ray Ricketts, the coach from day one. Angel Fernandez was in there as well. He's already dropped the belt. Goodness me. I think, he's just, I think he's just vacated his Commonwealth Silver <laughs> title. I think that, that counts, doesn't it? I think <laughs> he's not you dropped the belt, the, you've given it up. So <laughs> He's not used to the belt control just yet. No, no. Well, look, if he, if he wants any practice, he can come to you for that. You've had you've had plenty so far in your career, <laughs> uh, Echo. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell him how to hold four at the same time. <laughs> well, I think he's going to come and join us very, very shortly, Ezra the Cannon Taylor. Um, but your reflections on that? You're, uh, you're, you're happy with his performance? Uh, your I'm mate? happy with his performance. He performed very well. It, it, will, it will only add to his confidence. Yes, it will. Well, let's hear from the man himself. Well, what How is happening? You happy? I'm all right. That was a bad performance, man. I'll be honest. You know when you know you could do a bit more? I was rushing it. Sloppy work. I've got much more to come. That's a good thing, you know? First title, first of many, but there's much, much improvement needed to be done. Honestly, I don't want to be highly critical, but I say that I'm going to be world champion. That's not a performance of a world champion, man. But it's a performance of a future world champion. Uh, that that being said, right, it's a performance of a future world champion. You just got to take away from it. People say you you learn more from your losses, but I think real world champions learn in everything they do. In in certain aspects of the match, you'll know you could maybe give yourself a bit more distance, have a little bit more patience, so you could land those shots with umph as opposed to maybe cutting them down a little bit. Exactly. But from my point of view, from our point of view, that was a wicked performance. Thank you should you, be man. very proud. Appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. And you know what? I'm always going to be my biggest critic, but. You know, like you said, it's just about having that patience, that experience to so take your time. Don't go looking for the shot when the shot comes to you, you know. But um, I put a beating on him. That's good. But, you know, i got to be grateful that I got the victory full stop. I don't know why I got this map card in my mouth. But uh, yeah, it was, it's, uh, it was good, man. It was good. Do you want to take the mouth card out? I kind of do, but it costs a lot of money, so I'm going to keep it in. <laughs> Listen, if we'd have told you beforehand that you were going to win your fight, in the fourth round and have a new belt over your shoulder, you'd have taken that, right? Oh no, 100%, 100%. You know what? That guy's not doing slouch, man. That's my hardest fight to date. He was banging back. Even when I was banging out on him, they normally go into a show. He was trying to fire back with his own round. So, there you go. There we go. <laughs> That's my man right there. I just want to say thank you to everyone who's supporting me on this journey. Love for University and Rich for posting, uh, you know, putting up a, a future world champion in the facilities as well and all my team as well. I uh, really appreciate it, man. I could be saying thank you to everyone, but all my sponsors, um, all the people who stand behind me, the people who supported it, even the people who came out here today. I know I'm on early, but I just want to say appreciate it, man. I really, really do. But supporters is what you need in boxing to go to the top. How does it feel to have that first title then? It's, it's nice. You know what? I forget that I'm fighting for a title. It's all new to me, you know? Getting my first title in eight fights, it's great. And it's a blessing. I think this is the first time everyone, anyone ever fought for the like, heavyweight. Commonwealth Silver, so I guess I'm kind of making history in my own way, right? But it's good. I'm just happy that I got the victory, but uh, more hungry that I need to go back in the lab and work. Oh, that's right. You got to let that sink in, go away from it, have a few days, let it sink in. Then everything you do, you just walk like a champion. You breathe like a champion. You're just the champion that you are. hundred percent, man. I'm the world champion, man. Right now, that's what I see myself as. But for now, I'll take it, man. I'm, a, I'm the people's champion, you know? I'll take that too. Well, it's another belt in Nottingham alongside all of the belts that this guy's won as well. Echo, Nottingham, Nottingham is on the up, isn't it? I know, it? man. We're, hey, Nottingham's on the map. Nottingham's on my back. Nottingham's on Echo's back. Lee Wood. We're doing things, man. And, you know, to be able to sit in front of my brother now, him commentate on a fight, it's crazy, man. We're doing things, you know. And we're really going to pave the way for what can come from Nottingham, you know. It's a small city, 
but we're, we're men with big dreams. Well, you talked about how you're the first to fight for that title. I think you were the first to drop the title as well. You dropped it in the ring. What's going on? Uh, I don't know, man. I can't lie to you. Uh, these gloves are hard. <laughs> They're hard to beat. Even look, I'm struggling sure holding this mic right now, but but versatile, man. Multifaceted, can do a lot of things. <laughs> I'm telling Debbie, you'll get used to the belt control soon. Oh, I like that. You see that? That's that's just all in my stride, man. Taking it all in my stride, but yeah. Um, overall, I'm happy. You know, um, I'm gonna watch it back, see where I can improve. I already know where I can improve. But most of it is just patience, man. Patience in on a journey, patience in life. You just get to enjoy things and do things better, you know? Let, let me ask you this. What, what do you want to do next? Because that puts you in a good position for the Commonwealth. You're the mandatory for the full Commonwealth title, currently held by Joshua Boatsy. I, I don't know what his plans are with that belt. We know Ben Whitaker, for example, is coming to this show tonight. He's, in the, you know, he's from this area. He's going to be here as well. What's on your mind? On my mind is to get better, man. I don't even worry about anyone else. I need to worry about myself, take care of myself, make sure I'm the best Ezra Taylor, because the best Ezra Taylor, I believe, can be anyone. So I just want to keep my head down, remain humble, even in victory, hopefully never in defeat, and just keep working, man, so I can, you know, start contending for the Commonwealth and make sure I put on good performances, because this boxing game, you make one mistake, lapse of concentration, everything has got your hands like that. And I'm not here for that, man. I'm really here to, to go all the way. So I just need to, hone down on my skill and my craft with my team and make sure that we just come better, man. One final thing, what was uh, Prince Oko Nazi saying to you at the end? There was a bit of a dispute. Well, I was just chatting at his ass, man. He's talking, <laughs> yeah, sorry, <laughs> I apologize, but he was he's basically saying, I'm hitting him on the back of his head and whatever else, when his eyes swelled, so, swelled up and his, his lips bleeding and whatever. But you can't take that up with me, man. I'm just a fighter, same as him. Take up with the referee or take up with the, bro the board, not me. I'm just in there to do a job, and clearly I did. That's why I got this belt on my shoulder. Okay, congratulations, Ezra Taylor. Eight fights, and you've got your first title. We're going to let you go. Go and enjoy the show because it's such a good show. <laughs> Thank you, man. I'm going to go in the back. And uh, yeah, man, like you said, just enjoy what I've just done. It's a big accolade that I shouldn't downplay. Um, but yeah, eight and all, six knockouts. I'm on my way up, man. Thank you for your time as well. Good Thank man. you, Echo, man. Be good yourself. Go rest and reload the cannon. And reload the cannon, time. man. It's coming out with a big cannonball <laughs> next time, man. Straighten someone's jaw. Love that.